modern warfare technology is going the way of technology that we see in our homes and offices. It's getting much smaller. The ability to be able to infiltrate enemy lines with nanotechnology is essential in today's world, and the current conflict with Ukraine has enabled the ally effort against Russia to show off a curious little device which might prove very useful for troops in the field. This is the Black Hornet drone, a tiny and easy-to-use device that makes monitoring the enemy covert and simple. Let's take a closer look at this very interesting piece of technology. The Black Hornet drone is a military micro unmanned aerial vehicle, and it's courtesy of Norwegian electronics company Prox Dynamics AS. It's proved to be a very popular device and is currently in service with armies from across the world, including the United States. But more recently, the drone has been making headlines due to a collaboration between Norwegian and UK armies. The two governments decided to partner and jointly purchase Black Hornets for use in Ukraine. The hope was that this would help the Ukrainian army strengthen themselves against Russian forces after Ukraine applied for the technology. 850 Hornets were delivered as part of a 54 million pound aid package. The first iteration of the drone appeared in 2012. These were the smallest of the three designs built, but it lacked the key component of an infrared camera. It was only 10 centimeters long and weighed 17 grams, making it one of the smallest drones of its kind. The UK Armed Forces paid £80,000 for each of these first models. The present generation drone is 7 centimeters longer and weighs 34 grams, which is twice as heavy as the initial model. But there's a trade-off. Now, they have doubled the range and have the night vision camera that's essential for lack of light reconnaissance. This version is also more durable than previous iterations. The range of the Black Hornet is now an impressive 1.9 kilometers considering its tiny size. Its max speed, as expected, is not high at 18 kilometers per hour. The maximum flight time that the drone can muster is 25 minutes. All of these specs help to deliver surveillance to troops on the ground. The three onboard cameras, including the night vision edition, can relay back to those waiting to attack an area. The drone's cameras were developed as part of a 20 million pound contract for 160 units with Marlboro Communications Limited. The data that these cameras capture is sent back to a tablet screen as black and white video and high definition images. Controlling the drone is done using a wireless remote control and the tablet that's viewed by troops has a 7 inch screen. The Black Hornet is also very easy to use and is very efficient. It only takes a soldier 20 minutes to learn how to operate it, and it takes a similar time to charge, around 20 to 25 minutes. Because the Black Hornet package contains two drones, this means that one can be charging while the other is in use, which means that if one dies during operation, then another one can be launched straight away. The drone system was designed so that soldiers would wear the surveillance equipment on their person while traveling on foot. The Black Hornet is connected to the operator with a digital data link and GPS. It includes a screen that flips out from a vest, and there's also a separate pouch which contains two drones and a joystick-like controller. The whole system only weighs 1.3 kilograms, so can be transported in the field easily. There is also a vehicle-mounted version if needed as well. There is a compromise for the stealthy nature of the drone. The quality of the picture is not great at a relatively low resolution 640 by 480 pixel video, but this is enough to see enemy position and means that the drone can stay quiet and lightweight to avoid detection. Any improvements to the onboard equipment would mean compromising these key features of the Hornet. The picture captured from the drone can then be sent to troops up to 2 kilometers away. The video may be less than perfect resolution, but that being said, the drone can still transmit still photos of 1600 by 1200 pixels, and the latest versions store no information, so they can't land in enemy hands by mistake. However, there are other flaws that are hard to design around. The very low weight of the device means that a gust of wind has the potential to knock it off course. It's been claimed that the newest versions of the Black Hornet can withstand gusts of wind up to 28 kilometers per hour, but sustained gusts can still cause significant problems. Although the Black Hornet is coming into focus more now because of the conflict in Ukraine, it has been in service for around 10 years. British forces had 324 in operation as of 2013. 
The British Army first used the drones in Afghanistan, where they were painted gray to blend in with walls. Operation Herrick troops used the Hornets from the front line to fly into territory occupied by the enemy, so they could take video and still images back to camp. It was then taken out of service in 2017. In July 2014, the United States Army Research Division selected the PD-100 Black Hornet after looking at the product as part of its Cargo Pocket Intelligence, Surveillance and Reconnaissance program. At that point, they decided that further refinements were needed before it could be put into operation. These included reconfiguring the data link, giving it night vision, and improving navigation capability. After these improvements were made, the Black Hornet was then tested with U.S. troops in early March 2015 and Special Forces in June of that year. However, the drone has been seen as too expensive for large-scale deployment with each unit costing as much as $195,000. In the U.S., it remains primarily deployed within Special Forces. The Black Hornet represents how warfare has changed over the years. The bigger equipment tended to be better when it came to attacking the enemy, but as conflict has progressed over the years, it's now essential to have smaller equipment to avoid detection from the enemy. This is exactly what the Black Hornet drone provides. Its quiet operation and tiny size makes it almost impossible to spot on a battlefield, and means that Ukrainian troops can now essentially look around corners before venturing into dangerous territory. It is a great example of how far technology has come in the military world, and it begs the question, how small could equipment like drones get? If the rate of deployment is anything to go by, then expect drones to be even more nano as the years roll on. What do you think about the Black Hornet drone? Let us know in the comments, and please like this video if you've enjoyed it. If you want to see more videos like this one, then subscribe to Spotlight for more. Thanks for watching.